help. These guys are five days old. They were born on March 1st. Yeah. Just cleaned out the brooder. Uh, set up a 250 gallon tank for them. Now this won't be where they'll be able to stay the whole time, but at least up to about two weeks. See, I got their water there, some dry food, and they absolutely love the mash. You take their food and you stick some water in it and get it good and wet. Let it puff up a while and then put a little bit more water in there. And boy, well, I thought you would think they call it mash because it's, you know, mashed up uh, feed, but... No, I think it's more mash because they walk all over it and they mash it into the ground, so. <laughs> but, yeah, just got done cleaning the tank up. As you can tell, it don't take them long to start making things dirty again. But, had to take the heater out there and clean it. I've got a cap coming for it that will keep them from being able to get up there. Uh, they had that thing looking pretty nasty. But, that's all in all. Got 26 chicks. And haven't lost one yet, so I think we're going to do good here. Um, I had that actually set up with a heat lamp in it, and uh, they seem to do just fine with that heat plate. I was nervous about the heat plate thing, but it works really good. Um, it said it was good for 20 chicks. I've got 26, and they're doing just fine under it. Uh, no problem. So I just put a 40-watt bulb in there. Uh, because you're supposed to keep light on for up to 22 hours a day for them So about 7 o'clock tonight, I'll shut it off for two hours turn it back on at 9 and uh, They seem to be doing real good we come in here last night after we shut the light off about an hour after shut the light off They is all underneath that heat plate just snoozing so it was doing good, but anyway this is my little chick. Let's get you a little closer view. We got, from what I can tell, we got seven different kinds. We went to the Murray McMurray uh, Chicken Hatchery website and ordered the Murray Choice Layer. And we got a couple rare breeds in here. We got a Silky, and then we got one right there that's pecking right there. See the head? It's got the puff. Uh, that's a, that's gonna be a really pretty bird when they're done. It has big white feathers on the top, all fluffed out, and then uh, black all over. And then I don't see her right now, but I have a silky in there. Um, and there is one. Yeah, I don't see the little gray one in here right now. But from what I can tell, it's gonna be a. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. A blue favola, favola something like that anyway um but we look like we got some black morans um a buff orrington at least one i think that's that one right there a little orange one and uh we got some uh uh little leghorns and well I, i'm just not good with all the chicken names yet but I'm getting there working on them but, and this is just my guesses, I don't know for sure, but, uh, I'm learning, this is my first brood, first time we'll have a flock, um, yeah, anyway, let me show you out the window I'm starting on, I mean, I don't know how good you can see it, but I got a coop going on down there, I gotta get the sides on it, uh, do the windows and the door, and then uh, I'm not even going to put the hen box on there for a few months because they're not going to be able to lay eggs for, four, for five to six months anyway. So um, no sense in having the box or messing with it right now. I'll just leave it closed off for the moment. And then when it's time, I'll put it in on there. But anyway, yeah, that's if you notice that big sweep around there, that is my unfinished bedroom <laughs> it's getting there but I got so much we're doing all the construction on the rest of the house so I use what's going to be my bedroom as my starting point <laughs> but it is what it is guys anyway y'all have a great day just wanted to show you what I'm up to